so welcome to math. What you're seeing is a swinging pan balance. Um, we are on page, or chapter 11, lesson 11, page 865. And it says, the mass of an object is the amount of matter it has. A gram is a metric unit of measurement of mass. Now, we've talked actually already about grams because my yarn is measured in grams. It's measured in metric units. Now, these cutesy tootsy little things, this, uh, this yellow one is one gram. Let me turn it around. I don't know if you can see it or not. It is pretty, it's pretty light. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in. Okay, you can kind of see 1G, right? It's not super great. Um, this one is 5 grams. It's hard to see because it's orange on orange and yellow on yellow. Uh, this pink one is 20 grams. That's how much weight my minis are when I get minis in the mail. The purple is 10, yes, good guess. 10 grams. Mini, minis are, remember, remember the, when I brought in my sack yarn the other day, the, the one in the bag, the cute bag, and one was cherry, and it was bundled up, and then the peach was bundled up, each of those would have been 20 grams. Those are minis, mini yarn. Right. I don't think this is the size of a pen. The, okay, one of my friends says, Miss Richardson, I think a penny is the size of one gram. Let's see if she's right. Nope. The penny is heavier than one gram. Uh, it's still heavier than two, but it's a little bit closer. Put one more. Well, orange is five. Ah, it's three grams. A penny is three grams. That's pretty interesting. All right, so here's your penny back. What? Um, somebody told me kilograms uh, to pounds, I think, is like 2.2. I think it's 2.2 kilograms to a pound. I would have to look it up to be for sure. All right, so here are my scissors. So before I put my, I'll put my scissors in the pan balance. Um, how much weight do you think my scissors are going to weigh? So make an estimate. How many grams are my scissors going to be? Yeah, it's your estimate. You put the estimate there. Four? Well, it's four grams as four yellow ones. The penny weighed three. So it's not, and I'm going to tell you right now, it, we're going to start with the big guys because it's going to take at least one big guy. It's more than 20, I can tell you that right now. 20 did not even budget. 20, 40, 60, 80, it's moving. Let's see. I got seven. Shh. Kind of waiting to see what happens when it stops. It is not slowing down. Kind of wonder if that's about it because what? Can you put those blocks together? Like, like stack them like Legos, yeah. Yeah, I can put them with like Legos like that. Well, I don't want to add anything else because it's it looks like it's I mean it's still wobbly, but it looks like it's kind of balanced. Let me see if I can slow it down a little bit. Uh, scissors are a little bit more. Should we try? Want to try one? All right, let's do one. 
Skype program. I don't think it's another 20. It's too close to the center. It's interesting that those big scissors weigh a little bit less than my yarn. That's funny. We will have to look it up. I'm guessing that's about accurate. So it looks like it's 20, 40, 60, 81 grams. Let's go ahead and put 81 grams. We're going to do the next one. I don't want this to take forever. It's crazy. 81 grams for scissors. All right. So the next one is a pencil. Here's the pencil I'm using, a brand spanking new one from yesterday. How much weight, take a, write down your estimate, how much weight do you think a pencil is going to have? What? 30. Well, if a, pe if a penny, shh, if a penny is 3 grams, I'm going to start with 10. 10 is too much. That's what I was thinking. All right, so then let's go 5. I'm assuming a pencil is... I don't know how to slow this from rocking. Okay, I, I did. Um, it looks like the pencil is still a bit heavier, so I'm going to add one at a time. Oh, see, so it's more than five, less than six. Because now six is too much, five is too little. So it'd probably be about five and a half. But you can say five, between five and six or something like that. All right, so here's my stapler. So think about, do you think my stapler is heavier than my scissors or less than my scissors? Hundred It is a small staple. Laura, you are right. All right, so I'm going to try 20. No movement. 40. No movement. 60. No movement. 80. 100. Oh, it's more. 100. 10. 100. 20. 130. Oh, yeah, by a lot. 130. Then. <laughs> so, well, it's more than 130. 130, whoops, 135? That's too much. Uh, 130, you want to do four? All right, we can go backwards. So, one, two, uh-oh. Let me stop that. It is right about even, 132. It might be a little bit. <clears throat> a little bit too much, but it's about 132. Yeah, it's right about on the middle. And then last but not least, we're going to do the calculator. All right. All right. 
Uh, here's the calculator. Did you make an estimate for the calculator? Well, if we have 500, we might be in trouble. I don't think we have enough. Uh, 20, 40, 60. 20, 40, 60. 80. 100. 120. 130. Two oranges, 140. Two oranges, 150. Two oranges, 160. 162. Hundred sixty three. Looks like it's probably pretty close to hundred sixty four. Yeah, it's right about 164. All right, any other... So 164. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause this and we're going to flip-flop to our next lesson. Okay, we jumped over to chapter, le chapter 11, lesson 12. We're converting metric units of mass. So at the top, we're going to write down mass. It says mass is a measure of the amount of matter an object has. Mass. It's the measure of, put them right there, thank you. The amount of matter. an object has I'm moving it up thank you now this is what I noticed yesterday when we were looking at your cards I saw some people's cards some people's cards were not highlighted now I told you that was fine with me what I noticed it what what I noticed was it made it extremely difficult for some students to find the things that they were trying to convert. So what I'm going to suggest is get your colored pencils out and you're going to highlight. So our first one, so our metric units of mass is going to be our next card. Um, I'm going to use yellow and blue and green and possibly orange. So we're going to go metric units of mass. So it says one gram, which is G, equals 1,000 milli. Oops, milligrams. I'm gonna pa grams, which it which is labeled mg. Now, what I want you to notice is milla. We heard it in milla meters yesterday. Milla means one thousand. Milla means one thousand. So I just looked up the definition. M-I-L-L-I -L -L -I means one thousandth part of. So it's a thousand. Milla means a thousand or thousandth. So there are a thousand milligrams in a gram. 
I'm assuming there are a thousand millimeters in a meter, right? Isn't that what we discovered yesterday? One meter is a thousand millimeters. So milla means thousand. Okay. All right. So one gram is a thousand milligrams. Um, one kilogram. Kilo. K I L O gram. labeled kg is a thousand grams or g now if i look at my card from yesterday again a kilo, kilo, kilometer a kilometer is a thousand meters. So if milla means a thousandth, ki kilo means thousand, right? So if I look up kilogram, K I L O, as one thousand grams. Uh, if I look up the root kilo, it's going slow. It's really going slow. I guess we'll do it later. So, Graham. Uh, let's do gram as green. Gram, green. So one gram, and then 1,000 grams, and then we have 1,000 milligrams, and then we have one kilogram. I just said we might use orange. I said we use blue, green, and yellow first. When you have that done, we are going to stop for the day, you lucky ducks. All right, we will pick this up tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.